Hello again, everyone. Deep Black here, Firm But Fair Gaming. Uh, I'm going to bring you a video here and a recording. We'll put it on YouTube. And it will be how to start healing in Mythic Plus. Uh, it's fun to heal. It's fun to try out healing. There's definitely six good healers in the game. You can do any of them. I'll put a link in the description as well because I was able to get KSM in two weeks on the worst healer in Mythic Plus, and that was the Disc Priest. So, Come enjoy the journey that it went on. Um, it was a fun time doing the Disc Priest. I enjoy the playstyle uh, where you're doing damage and healing at the same time. It's definitely a fun way to play. But uh, check that out in the description. Check out the Twitch link. Join us with Twitch. Uh, join uh, the Patreon if you want to support the channel more. And we'll get into how to start healing. The very, very beginning is you have to pick a healer. And to pick a healer... Uh, you will have to do a few things. Um, decide, firstly, where uh, if you want to be range or melee. So there are two melee healers in the game. That is Monk, and that is uh, Holy Priest. You can technically put in Druid if you kitty weave, but uh, it's definitely just two because you can be at range like the way I play. I play with the Boomkin Affinity, uh, so I can be at range. So there are two different things you can do, but there are two different um, melees you can be. Definitely picking your healer is going to be the first step. So pick whether you want to be in melee or pick whether you want to be in range. If you want to be uh, one that has two different options, priest is the option with two different healer styles. The other thing to pick, once you've thought about it, you're going to heal Mythic Plus. You thought about healing Mythic Plus is to then decide, are you going to play other classes in the game on that character so do you want it to have a dps spec well all of them have a dps spec so that's not too bad but do you want a tank on it so there are three that have tanks monk druid and paladin all can be tanks as well so it gives different option uh you can be both tank dps and healer so if you're looking to do that as well that is definitely definitely an option that you should check out Going on, now you've made your decision, you've gone to, uh, you've decided that you're going to be either a melee you've decided or a range, you've decided if you want to tank or do anything else on it, and you've picked your healer. There is many things to start with uh, for healing. You will have to set up your bars in a certain, probably do it in a certain way, you don't have to do it in a certain way, but doing it in a certain way helps. And there's add-ons that can help you with it, like Voodoo. I'm going to make a sole video on Voodoo because I think this is the single best add-on you can have as a healer. It lets you automatically create mouse overs in a very easy style. It lets you follow the hots. It lets you uh, track different abilities, and it's just a great setup. And the bonus is it allows you to double up on your buttons. So say you're using... We'll use, for instance, one, two, three down here for damaging abilities. When you're not hovering over yourself, you can use one, two, three for damaging. You can see I have Moonfire and Sunfire and all that. If you want, you can use those exact same buttons to do healing spells when you mouse over. So it double up, doubles up your buttons so you don't have to have a crazy amount of keybinds like I do on a Druid because Druids just have so many abilities. So getting into that is... Definitely, definitely a add-on that you want to get. Uh, unless you want to create a whole bunch of macros for mouse overs for your raid frames, by all means, you can do that as well. I don't, I personally don't like doing that uh, just because, it, I don't know, it just doesn't work as nice as Voodoo, I found. That's my personal preference. So I also do a full Voodoo intro to that. But now, knowing your class is going to be the big thing. You are going to have major CDs as a healer. And it's going to vary depending on the healer you are. But major CDs, I'll use my Druid for example. I'm running Incarn because there was a ton of damage at the beginning of the expansion. And this is the setup I've run since then. And the damage was just insane. So I want a Tree of Life to help do that extra healing. There's also another one is Tranquility. It's too many. I have um, I'm running different talents. Uh, I also make a new build video for the Resto that you can look at. But 
I was running Drink Willie over he heavy damage weeks because it does help once you have everything hotted up and jamming Tranquility does heal for quite a bit. So it is a help and on certain weeks it is a really big help because of the, sh the two minute cooldown. Uh, you are able with the four piece to go into Incarn for nine seconds, which is great after your third Swift Man. So that also helps uh, do some major healing and Convoke is my short one minute burst healing. So I have three main healing abilities. Those are what you needed to learn per your class is your big cooldowns and how to apply them first. There are very usually specific ways to do extra healing. So mine is always to have hots heal over times on people. And I do that with regrowth, rejuve, wild growth, and life bloom. So what I have all set up here, you can see all four. I can extend the hots with flourish, which is a great 1.5 minute cooldown. I can throw on a fourth hot, which is going to be effervescence. And then I can use Swift Men to do even more healing, which procs my regrowth to actually, you know, proc. And I think it costs less mana and does more healing, 200%, I believe. But uh, that's the way you want to heal as a druid, is make sure everyone is hotted up when there's heavy damage coming. You want to preemptively do it. And then if you're still taking heavy damage, and it, say it's insane damage, you're in a raid and you need to heal 40 people really fast. So I will then pop Tree of tree of Life, and then I will uh, Tranquility. Because it will do huge, huge, huge healing. If I have time, I'll pop Tree and pop Wild Growth while I'm in Tree before hitting Tranquility, because it does even more. But hitting that uh, Tree, Wild Growth, Tranquility does a ton of healing. Or if you Tree, uh, Wild Growth, Convoke does a ton of healing, and then you have everything hotted up, and then you can uh crank after that so druids are all about preemptive damage and putting hots on to be able to get some healing through and for every class i believe every healer has some sort of a cleanse or remover not all of them it's poison some of them it's magic um i believe everyone has one i'd have to double check if there's one that doesn't but they usually can dispel some sort of effect on players and i have mine set up so my bar will go on voodoo it automatically goes green when someone needs dispelled mouse over dispel done so that's how i like to run my druid but for that i have soothe as the same button as my um dispel for someone so i can soothe an enemy if it's out here and i'm not mousing over or i can sue someone when it's moused over and that's how i like to set up my bars but just knowing where your big heals are is going to be the key to running any Mythic Plus. Nextly, is setting up your damage because you will have little damage windows. Sometimes you'll have more, sometimes you'll have less, depending on how the dungeon is going. So having your damage abilities very easy to hit, very easy to attack with, makes it easier. Um, fist weaving with Miss Weaver Monk is a big thing. Um, trying to think, Resto Shamans do a ton of damage. Dis Priest, you have to have it all set up because Dis does healing while they attack with the Atonement. So having those, I keep mine in my front three keys. You can put them where you like, where it's easy key bind, but having your damage abilities very easy to quickly hit because you not you usually don't have a lot of time to do it. And as Druid, you get Kitty Weed as well. Um, <laughs> Necro playstyle is fun, but it's, it's kind of annoying being in melee the whole time, so I don't do it anymore. But knowing where those are is going to be another key to getting your uh, damage down quickly because you only have usually a couple couple GCDs to spend on damage before you have to go back to healing someone. So knowing the damage abilities, knowing your big cooldowns is the first place to start. And you can find your big cooldowns. They'll all be the ones that are like 1.5 minutes, 2 minutes, you know, 3 minutes. Those are going to be your big healing CDs. After you have your uh, voodoo or however you like your mouse over set up, because mouse overs are key for healers, you gotta have mouse overs. And you have your damage abilities, knowing where they are. Just jump into some dungeons. Jump in, try it out. Uh, usually start small uh, if you're gonna try and do it, but start small and then you can always try different things when you're in the lesser dungeons. Like when you're a druid, you can Moonkin Affinity, Heart of the Wild, Convoke, which will get you a ton of damage. And you can see it, mine spiked up to 12 or 11 change. 
But that's an option for more damage because as a healer, when you're not healing, you should be doing damage. Help your team out. Do damage. And that will come just later with knowing the dungeons, the fights, when you can do it, when heavy damage is coming in. There's no way to know if you haven't done a dungeon, so you'll have to just get into dungeons. Fire it up. <laughs> and lastly, the last thing I want to talk about is utility. So every healer has some sort of utility, uh, depending on which one you are. A lot of them have interrupts. Shaman has the shortest interrupt in the game. They're great for interrupting. So know where your interrupts are and make them easy to use. Uh, I always put my interrupts on my mouse button just because it's quicker. Druid, unfortunately, doesn't have any. Uh, but I do have Typhoon. I do have uh, Vortex. So I have two different utility items. I also bring a B-Res. So B-Res is everyone likes. Um, uh, other than that, the utility, I have Roots and Cyclone. And Druid has a crap ton of utility. And uh, if they're not really healing a lot, they can... Uh, Pump some little bit of damage through one of the lower damage ones, but they do huge healing and have a great set of utility. So know where your utilities are. Know where your kicks are. If your class has a kick, know where it is. Monk has lag sweet. Monk has uh, ring of peace. Both can interrupt things. Uh, your priests don't have one. Resto Shaman has one. Paladin doesn't have one. And Druid, you can take bear form, which everyone does in PvP, but we're talking PvE, so you don't have one either. <laughs> so it's down to a few. Typhoon will interrupt if you're close enough, so if you need to interrupt, make sure you're close to a mob. Uh, other than that, just you can set up your plater and your bars the way you like. Mine actually wasn't stacked right now. It reset all my bars, so usually they're stacked like that. So having a bar set up will be handy as a healer and having a UI set up. So I track my major ones. This seed is my actual tier set. So when this gets to two, I know the next Swift Men is going to put me into a Tree of Incarn. So knowing that Tree of Incarn is coming up, I can save that. I don't need the Swift Men when it's off CD coming up to Tree of Incarn. I can make sure I'm staying alive. And when we're getting to heavy, heavy damage and I need to use that Tree of Incarn, I know that, okay, now I pop it, boom, I'm in tree, and I will want to have a wild growth ready to go so I can heal the party and then throw up a re, uh, regrowth and a reju. So knowing when it's coming up is huge. Have a UI set up. I use uh, this one I think I made because I just, I wanted my mana bar and I wanted my big cooldowns, and that's all I needed. Other than that, I didn't need anything up here. I know uh, when the rest of the stuff is up. I have a rough idea when Tranquility is up. I could put it up here if I like. I could put Tree up here if I wanted. But I didn't want it too, too crowded on my screen. So <laughs> I didn't put it up yet. I like the way it's simple. It's quick. It's tracking my Wild Gross. It's tracking my Swift Men's, my big heals. The rest, I kind of have a rough idea or very close. And then the biggest... Biggest, 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 biggest thing you can do is just try it out. Just jump in. You got to get, once you have your bar set up, your mouse over set up, jump into dungeons. You won't know unless you're in there. You won't know if you, I, you really like it unless you test it. You might love healing. You might think, oh, this is awesome. This is a lot of fun. I got to do healing. I got to do damage. I keep everyone alive. It's a ton of fun. I really enjoy this. Or you might find out, hey, I don't like this as much. Or maybe I want to try a different healer because I don't like the style of this healer. That is all something you won't know until you test it. You can try it in class trials. It's not the best example, but it does give you an example of how a class heals. And there are many different guide videos out. There's a, you know, I have guide videos on the Resto Druid. Uh, I put a guide video out on the Disc Priest. There's tons out there. I could put one out on the Monk as well. So check out a guide video. They will kind of give you, it's not a healing rotation, but a lot of classes have little nuances like, the mist for uh monk it should be pre-cast before putting enveloping mist so then you're doing extra healing you can cast vivify while soothing mist and a whole bunch of different things like that so not all the time do you want to use that but it does help knowing that you can do that little little tricks for every class like this is an instant cast of a regrow so if someone's really taking damage i can just instant cast a regrowth on them and then go into you know wild growth life boom bloom <laughs> read you and get them all hotted up so knowing a little bit and a little it's not a rotation but a little help on which abilities buff other abilities is always great to look at as well 
If you have any questions, definitely, definitely leave a comment below. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, follow on Twitch. And this was Deflect Firm and Fair Gaming. Look for that voodoo video. I'm going to be putting it out at the end of the weekend as well.